What is going on boys and welcome to an Orc Ascended video and in this video I am going to be helping you guys get the best FPS you can on this game as it, it runs quite poorly right now and it's not really optimized and also be able to get the old Orc feeling back in this game. There is a way and I am going to show you throughout this video. All the commands and everything that I'll be using this video will be in the description below and I'll be trying to explain what each command does as best as possible so if this video does help you and improves your fps then make sure to leave a comment down below and a like and a subscribe but with that being said boys let's get into the video so first of all what you want to do is you want to go to arc ascended you want to go to the properties and you want to go to installed files you want to head, head over to the browse section click that and you'll pop up with your folders then you want to head over to shooter game saved config windows and find your game user settings.ini file. Once you find this, you want to hit, go ahead and click Control F and then just type in old, hit enter. And you see here you've got B use old third person camera trace, B use old third person camera offset. You want it, these will be automatically on false. So you just want to make sure to put them to true with a capital T. After you've done that, you want to hit file and save, and then you can close that off. Then for the next FPS boost, you want to go to launch options, which is here in general. Then down below in the description, you will find some launch options. I will put them in the description. You just want to go ahead and paste them here. You may mostly use these on most Steam games to get the max out of your FPS. So I'm sure a lot of you already know what these are. But once you've pasted these in, you just want to go ahead and close that off and launch up the game. So once you're in game, you want to go ahead and press the tilde key on your keyboard, which is the one next to your number one key. And just type in stat fps this will show your fps so here on the right i'm getting roughly 90 fps 80 fps and this is on low settings i have a pretty good pc too i have a 3080 with an i9 so as you can see roughly uh, 80 fps 90 fps and then again in the description i'll have some commands down below so the first command we're going to put in is streaming pool size zero this basically just unlocks your whole GPU memory. So you want to go ahead and enter that one in. The next one is the nanite pixels. This basically reduces triangles for nanite meshes and basically a whole whole bunch of nerdy stuff. You don't really need to know. Just hit that and you see the game change in there and my FPS is going up slightly. The next one is lumen resolution. So you just want to paste that one in there and hit enter. The next one is volumetric cloud zero which as you see there just boosted my FPS by a bunch. And the next one is shadow quality space zero, which just gets rid of the little shadows. So right now I'm up to 120 FPS. The game doesn't look that good from afar. But again, you, wanna, you just want a lot of FPS so you can play the game and not get a headache. Another command is foliage max triangle surrender 30,000 or 300,000. That one helps out a ton too. Another one which helps a ton like all these little pieces of grasses and things that you just don't really need is show space instance grass. That gets rid of a bunch of stupid stuff on the floor that you just don't need to see. You also have bloom quality. You want to turn that one off. Another one is the reflection from water, which is single layer reflection space zero. That helps out a ton. And right now my game is... It's running smooth. It's a lot better than what it, what it was before. And then a huge one which will help out in PvP by a ton is show instance foliage, which basically removes all the foliage in render. So as you can see, there's a bunch of trees, bushes in front of me right now. As soon as I click enter, that's all gone. That's basically like an INI, which is built into Arc, and it'll be a lot easier for PvP. Another one that you could use, which basically disables the whole uh, of the water and you can see through it. So let's see if we can find something we can see. Um, this Hesperonis, for instance. If we do this command, we can see everything in the water. Just look how much detail there is in that water now. That's actually crazy. Put it in this off, just water, single layer, space one, and it'll turn it back on. But when you go below the water, then it goes back to uh, back to blue. Another one that you could use, but I'm not too sure why you'd want to use this. It's kind of grim, but it is material quality level zero. 
and it basically turns your game into this and um yeah I mean, I guess it'll be easier to find people because there's no colors. Come running through the forest and, uh, yeah, much easier to see things. I guess it'll be good if you've got the render one on and you're not seeing anything at all. Yeah, so if you've got the render one on, it's basically like you're in... I don't even know, bro. It looks weird. You can use this on any server, by the way. Single player, official dedicated you can use this on on everything so it's kind of broken i'm not gonna lie the fact that arc tried their best to remove i and i from the old arc and then now you can do all this in just the tab section is uh pretty crazy pretty crazy but now i'm gonna go through my settings so we're gonna go head over straight to video i have my max frame rate is 144 because you don't really need any more than that and then I have everything on low, and then I have my textures on high. I have foliage quality on medium, which I'm probably going to bump that up to high, actually. Uh, you want the widget quality up to one. Uh, all of this all the way down and off. I'm going to turn that off. I don't know why I have that on. You want bloom, motion blur, everything off. RTX, you want NVIDIA DL DLSS off with reflex low latency on. And then we head into the UI. You want melee camera animation off. Disable menu transitions on. This is a huge one. Please, please, please make sure you turn this on. This is probably one of the most important things in the game to make sure your inventory opens as fast as it possibly can. Then we head over to camera. You want third person camera offset off and camera view bob off. Then you also want disable third person camera implementation on with the player camera mode off. Also, camera shake scale, you want that all the way down to zero. Then in the advanced section, I don't think there's anything you really need to change in there. And I think that's it really for the settings. But yeah, the game looks uh, a lot better like this uh, with the render down. You don't see all the unnecessary trees like this. I mean, I think it actually, yeah, it gets rid of the trees. You can just turn this on and off uh, whenever you're PvP and I guess. And when you're not farming and it'll make pvp a lot easier because if you're a small character on here and you're just prone in a bush like you're gonna be hidden no one's gonna see you you're gonna lose someone so fast in the forest because the forests are like really deep like if you're chasing someone you're gonna lose them very very quickly so if they're using that setting then uh, you're gonna have to too or else you're gonna lose them but yeah that's it for the settings video i hope you did enjoy um these obviously are not the best settings in the world this will just help you if you're really kind of stuck on the settings i'm sure there's going to be better settings videos out there but i give you a lot of key info and a lot of commands that you could use so i hope this video helped you out a ton and don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one